today we will explore polygons. Let us know what is a polygon. Polygon comes from the Greek word poly, which means many, and gon, which means side. So polygon means many sides. Polygon is a two-dimensional or 2D shape that is made up of line segments. And these line segments are called the sides of a polygon. And this point here where the line segments meet is called a vertex. In this figure, there are four vertices and there are also four angles formed. This figure is a polygon. It is a closed plane figure. This one is not a polygon since it is not a closed figure. There is an opening in this part. And this one is also not a polygon since the two sides intersect between end points. Parts of a polygon. These line segments are called the sides of a polygon. And these points here, the point of intersection of the line segments, is called a vertex. In this figure, there are one, two, three, four, five, six vertices and there are also one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And this angle here, which is inside this polygon, is called an interior angle. And if you're going to count the angles, we have one, two, three, four, five, six interior angles. And if you're going to connect the two non-consecutive vertices we formed a diagonal. And this part here formed by this side being extended and this side here is called an exterior angle. And if you're going to extend all sides, we can form six exterior angles also. A polygon is either convex or non-convex. One of the ways to know is to check the measure of the interior angles of a polygon. If all interior angles measures less than 180 degrees, then it is a convex polygon. But if there is at least one interior angle that is greater than 180 degrees, then it is a non-convex polygon or concave polygon. Another way to check whether a polygon is a convex or non-convex is by drawing a line that passes through the polygon. If the line intersects only twice, then a polygon is a convex. But if a line intersects more than two times, then a polygon is non-convex. A polygon can be classified as regular or irregular. These polygons here are examples of regular polygons. What are regular polygons? A regular polygon is both equilateral, where all sides are congruent, and equiangular, meaning all angles are congruent. Whereas irregular polygon are polygons that do not have all congruent sides and angle. These polygons here are examples of irregular polygons. We will now explore how to find the sum or total of the measures of the interior angles of any polygon. We can work it out by splitting it into triangles. 
Remember that the measure or the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, if you have a four-sided polygon or what we know as quadrilateral, then there are two triangles formed when a diagonal is drawn. So, 2 times 180 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. So, therefore, the sum of the four angles or four interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. If you have a five-sided polygon known as pentagon, we can see here that there are three triangles formed when diagonals form is drawn from one vertex alone. So there are three triangles, so 3 times 180 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. So the sum of the five angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. In this six-sided polygon, you can see here four triangles. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of this hexagon is 720 degrees. For this seven-sided polygon or heptagon, we have one, two, three, four, five, five triangles. So five times 180 degrees is equal to 900 degrees. So the sum of the seven interior angles of a heptagon is 900 degrees. Whereas for the eight-sided polygon or what we call the octagon, we have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles formed. So six times 180 degrees is equal to 1080 degrees. So the sum of the eight angles of a octagon or an octagon is 1080 degrees. How about for a nine-sided polygon? What do you think? How many triangles? can be formed out of a 9-sided polygon or a 10-sided polygon or more sides of a polygon. Can you see a pattern here? We have 3-sided polygon, there is only one triangle. 4-sided polygon, we have 2 triangles. 5-sided or 5 sides, we have 3. 6 sides, 4. 7 sides, 5, 8, 6. You see a pattern? As to the number of sides and number of triangles formed, we have here a table. So, triangle, 3 sides. Number of triangles, we have 3 minus 2. It's 1. 4 sided or quadrilateral. 4 minus 2 is 2. There are two triangles, and so on and so forth. So, we can say that to, f to find or to know the number of triangles formed for each type of polygon, we can know the number of triangles by subtracting the number of sides by 2. So, n here represents the number of sides. So, the formula for finding the number of triangles formed, if one vertex, if one, if a diagonal is drawn from one vertex of a polygon is n minus 2. To know the sum of the interior angles of any polygon, we can have this formula. So, n minus 2 is the number of triangles formed times 180 degrees since each or for all triangles the sum of the measures of the interior angles is 180 degrees so take note of this formula apply what we have just learned by answering the following exercises number one find the value of x given the figure below a triangle with two interior angles measure 95 degrees and 60 degrees and x is here representing the measure of this angle here what do you think is the value of x or the measure of this third angle 
What is your guess? Answer is 25 degrees. Do you get it right? What's the reason? Why is it 25 degrees? We have just learned that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, if the two angles measure 95 degrees and 60 degrees, then by adding the two and subtracting it from 180 degrees, we'll get 25 degrees. To check, 25 degrees plus 95 degrees plus 60 degrees, the sum is 180 degrees. So therefore, our answer, 25 degrees is correct. Now observe this triangle and the three interior angles. Look at the values or the measure of angles A, B, and C. And the sum. No matter what type of triangle it is, the sum of its three interior angles is always 180 degrees. Number 2. Find the value of x given a polygon below having five sides. How do you call a polygon having five sides? Can you recall? A five-sided polygon is what we call a pentagon. And what do you think is the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon? What is the sum of these five angles here? The sum is 540 degrees. And what do you think is the value of x here? Or the measure of this angle here, represented by x? Given this angle here, the measure of this angle here is 105 degrees. This angle here measures 118 degrees. And this angle here measures 75 degrees. And the fourth angle here measures 130 degrees. So, what do you think is the measure of this angle? The answer is 112 degrees. How do we get 112 degrees? We know that the sum of the interior angles or the five angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. So, if the four angles measure 105 degrees, 118 degrees, 75 degrees, and 130 degrees, then when we add the four angles, the sum is 428 degrees. So, 540 degrees minus 428 degrees, the difference is 112 degrees. So, to check, when we add the five angles, 112, 105, 118, 75, and 130 degrees, the sum is 540 degrees. So our answer is correct. Number 3. What is the measure of each interior angle of a regular decagon? Can you draw a regular decagon? How many sides does a decagon have? Yes, correct. 10 sides. How about regular? Can you recall what is a regular polygon? A regular polygon is a polygon having all congruent sides and all congruent angles. So, can you withdraw a regular decagon? Let's try. Okay. This is a regular decagon. All sides are equal or congruent. And all the angles are also congruent. How many angles does this decagon have? There are also 10. So, what do you think is the measure of each interior angle of this decagon or regular decagon? The answer is 144 degrees. How do we know? 
what is the reason? So we know that the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a decagon is 1140 degrees. Why? A decagon has 10 sides, so the number of triangles formed is 8 from the formula number of sides minus 2. So n minus 2, 10 minus 2 is 8. So there are 8 triangles formed in 8 decagon. So the sum of the angles is number of triangles times 180 degrees. So 10 minus 2, 10, the sides, number of sides of a decagon, minus 2, the answer is 8. So 8 times 180 degrees, the answer is 1,140 degrees. And to know the measure of each interior angles, since all the interior angles here are all congruent or equal in measure, so we we'll divide this by 10. So 1140 degrees divided by 10 angles, the answer is 144 degrees. Since it is a regular decagon. So we have this solution. The interior and exterior angles of a polygon. We know that an interior angle of a polygon is an angle that is inside a polygon, whereas an exterior angle of a polygon is an angle that is outside a polygon. That is, it is formed by a side and an extended side of a polygon. We will now explore the exterior angles in a polygon. We have here a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is a type of triangle that has no congruent sides. And of course, its angles are non-congruent too. So we have here the measures of the interior angles which are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. We will extend the three sides of a triangle and we formed three exterior angles. Now if you observe this interior angle and this, it, these exterior angles, they are linear pair, which means they are also supplementary. So if they are supplementary, we can possibly determine the measure of this exterior angle given this 90 degrees angle here. So if this 90 degrees, the measure of this angle here is 90 degrees since 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. Okay, this part here, this exterior angle here, and this interior angle, they are also linear pair. So, we can determine also the measure of this exterior angle here, which is 150 degrees. Since 180 degrees minus 30 degrees is equal to 150 degrees. When you add them, their sum is 180 degrees. And here, this measures 120 degrees. So 120 degrees plus 60 degrees equals 180 degrees. Now, if you're going to add the measure of all the exterior angles, so we have 120 degrees plus 150 degrees plus 90 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. Let's try another polygon, a regular octagon. An octagon is a polygon having eight sides. So, since it is regular, it means that all the sides are equal or congruent and all the angles are also congruent. So therefore, 
we can determine the measure of each of its interior angle by knowing the sum of all the interior angles of this regular of this octagon so since the sum of this interior angle of this octagon is 1080 degrees and there are 8 interior angles so 1080 degrees divided by 8 so each has a 135 degrees or each interior angle measures 135 degrees since it is regular so they are all congruent now this part here is an extended side of this regular octagon the all sides are being extended so we formed here exterior angles and there are one two three four five six seven eight also eight exterior angles so just like what we did in the triangle since they are linear pair they are supplementary so we can determine the measure of this exterior angle so this is 135 the measure of this angle is 45 degrees so 180 degrees minus 135 is 45 degrees and since all the interior angles are equal or congruent so the measure of each exterior angle are also congruent which is 45 degrees if we are going to add all of the measures of the exterior angles 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45 which is just the same as multiplying 45 degrees by 8 so the product is 360 degrees take note that they are the same so we can say that uh, the exterior angles of any polygon add up to 360 degrees so whatever will be the type of polygon if you're going to add it's all of its exterior angle the sum is always 360 degrees okay so let's practice what we have just learned by answering these exercises to find the measure of which exterior angle so given this four-sided polygon of a quadrilateral specifically a trapezoid given the measure of each of the exterior angle so we'll start with here or from here so since this is 85 degrees the measure of this angle here is 95 degrees since they are linear pair 95 plus 85 is 180 degrees so this exterior angle here measures 85 degrees and this exterior angle here measures 90 degrees of course this is 90 this one also is 90 degrees let's check we will add all the four exterior angles so 95 degrees plus 85 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees the answer is 360 degrees so the exterior angles of any polygon adds up to 360 degrees Number 5. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon. How many sides does a regular hexagon have? 6 sides, correct. Hexagon is a 6-sided polygon. Since it is regular, so all sides and all angles are congruent. So, what do you think is the answer? The answer is 60 degrees. 
each. So, why? What is the reason? A regular hexagon has six equal sides and angles, both interior and exterior. And since the sum of the exterior angle of any polygon is 360 degrees, so we will just divide 360 degrees by 6, the number of exterior angles formed in a regular or in any hexagon. So, the answer is 60 degrees each. Number 6. Refer to the figure below to answer the following. So, we have 6.1. If measure of angle 1 is 80 degrees and measure of angle 3 is 70 degrees, what is the measure of angle 2? Let's examine the figure given. So, this is the angle 1, which is 80 degrees and measure of angle 3 is 70 degrees. What is asked is the measure of angle 2. So, the three are all interior angles of this triangle. So, what do you think is the answer? The answer is 30 degrees. Why? Is the reason? Okay. Since... The sum, if you remember, the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Since the two angles are given, so we have 70 and 80. So we add the two, that is 150 degrees. 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. So, measure of angle 2 is 30 degrees. To check, you will add all the 3. And the sum is 180 degrees. Let's try. 30 degrees plus 70 degrees is 100 degrees plus 80 is 180 degrees. Next, if the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees and the measure of angle 2 is 60 degrees, what is the measure of angle 4? Now, the given here is measure of angle 1, 90 degrees, and angle 2, 60 degrees. What is asked is the measure of this angle here, angle 4, which is an exterior angle. So, how to find the measure of this one? What do you think is the answer? The answer is 150 degrees. How do we get 150 degrees? Okay, so since angles 3 and 4 are linear pair, we need to find first the measure of angle 3. Since given the measure of these angles, 1 and 2. So to find measure of angle 3, we'll subtract 90 degrees, the sum of 90 degrees and 60 degrees from 180 degrees. So we'll get, we get 30 degrees. So since this angle here is 30 degrees and they are linear pair, so the measure of angle 4 is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees which is 150 degrees. Did you observe something? About here the solution. Did you not notice something about these angles here? The sum one the sum of angle one and angle two and the measure of angle four. Angle one angle two is one ninety plus sixty. The answer is one hundred fifty degrees. And the measure of angle four is also one hundred fifty degrees. If you observe from our previous exercise, 6.2, this uh, the angles like this in the figure, angle C and angle D, 
are both interior angles which is not adjacent to this exterior angle A uh, these two angles C and D are called the remote interior angles with relation to this angle A here it's the exterior angle and if you observe uh, the measure of this exterior angle here this is the exterior angle, angle A. The measure of this angle is just the sum of the two remote interior angles. When you add angle C and angle D, the sum is equal to the measure of angle A. Since the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measure of its remote interior angles. So refer the figure below to answer number 7 and 8. Number 7, find the measure of angle 4 if measure of angle 1 is 80 degrees and the measure of angle 3 is 42 degrees. We'll check the figure given. So this is the measure of angle. This is angle one, which is 88 degrees, and this angle here measures 42 degrees. Then we are required to find angle four here, the exterior angle. If we're going to look at the relationship, the given and the unknown, they are these two angles. Uh, here are interior angles of this triangle and this one is an exterior angle but they are not adjacent to this angle so they are called the remote interior angle of with reference to this exterior angle here so to find or to solve you can have the equation the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So substitute, we have 88 degrees, the measure of angle 1, and 42 degrees, the measure of angle 3. You add 88 plus 42, the answer is 130 degrees. So the measure of angle 4 is 130 degrees. Number 8. Find measure of angle 1 if measure of angle 4 is 120 degrees and measure of angle 3 is 40 degrees. So, we are required to find the measure of this angle given measure of the exterior angle and one of its remote interior angle. So, since the two, the unknown and the given, the other are given are remote interior angles with re reference to this exterior angle here we can write the equation as measure of angle 4 or the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of its two remote interior angles the 1 and 3 substitute so 120 degrees, the measure of angle 4 is equal to measure of angle 1, which is unknown, plus 40 degrees. So what must be added to 40 degrees to make it equal to 120 degrees? So we can use addition property of equality or subtraction property of equality to solve for measure of angle 1. So 120 degrees minus 40 degrees, that is the measure of angle 1. The answer is 80 degrees. To check, we will add the measure of the remote interior angles with reference to angle 4. Let's see if the sum is equal to the measure of the angle 4, which is 120 degrees. So 80 degrees, the measure of angle 1. And 40 degrees, the measure of angle 3. So 80, 80 plus 40 is 100. 20 degrees so our answer is correct
Thank you for watching and God bless.